Hey folks, check it out. We are out here with the world famous Patty Mayo and guess what? The world famous Anthony Guzman of Metro Dade Canine Services down here in Miami, Florida. And we are training today with Patty Mayo's brand new dog. Go ahead and introduce him for us, Patty. This is Kobos. He's a Belgian Malinois. He's three and a half years old. And he does everything <laughs> that I don't do. Yeah, he's a Ferrari of a car. Uh, trained here at Metro Dade Canine Services uh, facility. And uh, in just a short time, he will be added to Patty Mayo's long list of accoutrements to uh, handle business with those, those bad guys that just refuse to give up. I mean, it, they might take that pepper spray, they might take the taser and the CS balls and all of that, but... Uh, Not taking the dog. Nah. Once we bring out him, that's going to be the, the, the end. And if they try oh. to run, what's going to happen? Uh, what happens they try to... He's going to get bit. They're going to get bit. You know how fast these dogs can run? About 30 miles an that's hour. That's right, baby. So unless you can run 32 miles an hour, he's going to get you. All right. So stay tuned for this episode and uh, hopefully enjoy. All right, so some of the stuff we are working on today is getting Patty Mayo and his brand new dog to get not only paired up, develop an excellent relationship, we gotta get that obedience on point. So if the obedience is not there, we can't pr uh, proceed to the next phase, which is gonna be some of that protection work, that bite work. And so you're gonna see him healing, doing what we call squares, left turns, right turns, left abouts, right abouts, uh, dropping him into a down in motion and doing a lot of recall. We're also working on a little bit of him coming into a cleaner heel position when uh, Patty is in more of a tactical uh, position. So if you look out there, you're gonna be able to see him uh, doing all that stuff we described. I'm also taking Patty to the side when his dog's cooling off to teach him how to use the leash uh, and start getting him very proficient with uh, using the leash to provide direction and correction as needed because we're talking about a really uh, high horsepower dog that might need a little bit of that extra motivation to listen when the going gets tough we got to get the tough get going all right so stay tuned and watch a little bit more and then we'll see you in the closeout while he's taking a break um, we can work some stuff with you what what fence can we abuse man we're not going to destroy it all right we'll probably use this let's do it over here so we're going to get you proficient with leash pops if that works for you anthony yeah, I'm definitely not good at it. All right, so we say uh, talk quietly, carry a big stick. All right, so yes, part of the bonding experience is that he loves you, but he also has to respect you. Like if you tell him the off, it's one and done. It's not maybe when you're ready, because there's not a huge distraction out here. If he can't down for you when it's time to down, then he's not going to down for you when his motor's up, right? So we always talk about dogs' motors like their cars. Um, he has a, a thousand horsepower engine. You need Brembo brakes. So. We're hooked to the leash is what we do with uh, beginner uh, canine handlers. We spend the first week just making their leash pops money. Why might we need to do that? Let's say you tell him to let go of a bite, right? Tell him to out, los, whatever his command is, and he doesn't do it. There's a swift and severe correction for failure to comply. Does that make sense? When you make that correction, it's exactly what it is. You corrected his course of action. He'll come back into compliance. Guess what happens next time you tell him to let go? Do it quicker. Oh, yeah. He does it immediately. He goes, this guy talks quietly, carries a big stick. I don't want you to say, out, 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 out. No, it's one and done. One and done. Okay. So give it a, a whirl and um, we'll test it. Good, you see the adjustment you have to make? Because we want to be directional with that correction. And we eventually want him to be uh, super light on the leash so you can steer him where you want him. You know how you maybe got a little crooked? You grab the leash and go, hey, I need you right here, baby, right here, okay? That type of technique, that's gonna get his attention, okay? And it's black and white with dogs, no gray area. He's either doing right or he's doing wrong. So you could even correct him into the down. As soon as he's in a down, he's back to a good boy. That's a good boy, okay? So good job thing. I want the leash to dictate. So let me just say you were, you were a puppy, hold that. What do you think that this means to you? That's right. And you know what I mean? So you can do, it's not all about the pop. Sometimes it's just a directional steering. Yeah. Some dogs are very light on the leash. Some dogs, he might, he might feel that downward pressure and go, I don't know what that means. Let's find out if he has it. All right, now let's not say anything. Let's let the leash do all the talking if we can. 
Don't have to be hard, let's see. Come to a stop, okay. Right, that's him following, that's him following your movements, so that's good. So what, yeah, I like what you do though, it's gradual. Like you start low, and then you go more as needed. Ah, oh, that's nice. Now you know how he's getting a little crooked on your, on your voligans? Let's say this is as good as he did, right? Don't adjust to him necessarily. I'd like him to adjust to you. See how I'm steering him a little bit? Yeah. Like Anthony does it with his with his shoulder. I think my shoulder's a little smaller and he doesn't quite. You could do it too, yeah. but. In the beginning, but also do, it, do it, like you said, steer him until he gets accustomed to your body language. Okay. This is just a new technique, right? Using the leash to steer him. Good boy. Let him know. Hey. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That'll be cleaner and cleaner. Very nice. But I want you, while you're telling me to do stuff, hey, show me your hands, turn around. Make him down, make him sit the entire time talking to me. Tell me to do something. Turn around. Put your hands on top of your head, interlace your fingers. There you go. Put your hands on the lower of your back, palms together. Make him, yes, see? Now that's just sits and downs. Now we can speed it up a little bit. What if you go just a little, oh yeah. If I, if I turn right and he blows it, so let's, let's back up a little bit and make it happen. So I'm gonna make a right hand turn, but he's gonna miss it. So we're walking, I turn right, he missed it, correction comes in. Beautiful to do that with the right hand. Let's do the other one now. We're gonna make a left hand, but he's gonna forge a little bit, meaning he's, he's more interested in what's up there than he is paying attention to me. I mean, I want him to pay attention, but he's gotta pay attention to me as well. So we're walking, I make a left hand turn, man, he's all up in my space. So I need to pop him back to come around. So it's probably a little preemptive what we're gonna do. This time, I'm gonna turn left, right? That's where maybe having oh. that left hand, sometimes you might wanna switch your grip to your left to allow, because I saw you do a left, he did very good, but I could have seen the opportunity to give him a little, to hey, hey. Correction to be able to come back further. Yeah, yeah, but that's tricky to do from your right hand, so you would, if you saw that coming, you should see that, oh man, he's just a little ahead of me. Might pop him back a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to cause this mild distraction. Do a turn. Hey, puppy, what's happening? Turn right, see how he missed it? That's when you correct. Mm. Yeah. Eventually he'll stop looking at me because he's like, ah, forget this guy. What are you doing, puppy? What's happening? Turn right. Right. Yeah, that was a perfect Clean. And that's what we would call, hey, failure to pay attention. Now we have to balance out. Do we want him to pay attention to me? Maybe I'm a threat. If you overdo that, he'll stop staring at me completely. But it needs to be a nice balance. Like, you can look at me, but make sure you're keeping a close eye on dad. Five bucks, he, he, he nails that turn this time. Say nothing, just turn when you're ready. Hey, dude, what's happening? Oh, what happened? That's what we call a correction. We corrected that, that behavior. Stuff to look, watch out for with dogs, okay? The tongue, that's gonna tell you how hot they are. We call it a three-stage process. Stage one is panting, right? Obviously, the dog's a little tired. Doesn't mean you need to put them up. Stage two, that tongue's gonna start to come out and do what we call shovel tongue or a heart-shaped tongue at the end. Let's take a look and tell me what you see. Is he stage one or stage two? One. No, no two. Right? Yeah. Now, guess what stage three is? What? When it gets so long, and so heavy and, short and, and so engorged with blood, and you'll see that tongue will double in size, it'll kick out to the left or right. They literally can't put it back in their mouth. That stage three must put the dog up or they will, because stage four is uh, you have a dog that's, their organs are gonna start to shut down because of uh, how hot they're getting. Come over here and get some drink. Come on, here. Yeah, that's good. Off. Good, good boy, yeah? Right, right in his business. Good boy, yeah, I'm a, yeah, that's a good boy. Good boy, okay, that's good enough. Yeah, we'll order it all today. All right, guys, that is day three trading with Kobos. And you can praise him up. When he has that ball in his mouth, he's a superhero. Superhero. Can we baby talk him? Oh, he's a good Kobos. boy! Kobos, here. Good boy. Oh, oh. All right, it's enough for today.
All right, folks, that's a wrap. So this is day three of training, and we got a handful more before we're able to deploy this crazy animal on some crazy two-legged critters. You know what I'm talking about? So get ready for that. I can't wait to be there for his first deployment.